Oh, hey, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thank you for joining me today. I'm still sick, obviously, and until I can get out of this house from this COVID web that this family is in, then I can, can I keep, I'm going to keep wearing hats because my hair looks like this. So, and I got a ton of hats. I never wear them, so why not? Anyway, today I've got a special video for you. Someone sent me a whole shit pile of this Jess fam secret Facebook group where she posts things and she's like, there better not be any spies in here. <laughs> and we're going to go through it because some of that's pretty revealing about who Jess fam really is. We know who she is anyway, but it's nice to have a couple of receipts to just follow it up and maybe some illegal activity. Hmm? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go. So as you guys know, I'm one of Jess Fam's biggest fans. No, I don't like Jess Fam. I think that Jess Fam is one of the biggest exploiters, is someone who doesn't give a shit about her kids' privacy, um, about the things that they might go through based on the content that she puts on the internet. She just doesn't care. Eh. And, but I do want to, I always want to give her props that she says she puts a ton of money away for her kids. I hope that's the case. And so she's the only one who really admits to doing that. So it is what it is, I guess. But we're going to dive a little bit into her little history with um, her ex baby daddy, one of her, I guess her twins and her other one, um, the second baby daddy about Drake. Drake actually comes in my Instagram and comes at me all the time. He thinks what I'm doing is terrible. So he's still with Jess fam, like I guess. So he's loyal to the end because that's his kids. Gotta, you know, gotta give him props for that, I guess. But it doesn't matter, like, that she completely destroys this guy on the internet, unless he doesn't see it. But before we get to that, this the reason I want to do today's video is because someone, you know, posted this TikTok in our group, uh, Facebook group's called The Problem Family Vloggers Ask the DCP. Go ahead and join it, um, if you're worthy. My mods are very strict on who they let in there. But this is a, a TikTok that they posted. I'm not going to play the audio, um, but basically she gets this. She gets these questions. Why don't you get a real job, right? And then this is what sunkissed rip jeans say. Okay. I hate these stupid TikToks where they just stand around looking aloof. Like, what did you ask this question of us? Well, here's our answer in dance form. Oh my gosh. Okay, more time with our kids. They say. Well, that's true. You got to give them that. But what kind of quality time is with your kids when all you're doing is filming them for content? Is that really quality time? Making content? Plus, we know that Jess Fam doesn't have quality time with her kids. Her kids are super independent of her. They're either out playing on their iPads or whatever. They use cameras to parent their kids. Because if they did spend more time with their kids, especially Jess Fam, I'm sure they almost wouldn't die a hundred times that we've covered on this channel. Like the one where they almost, he did a backflop into the hot tub and could have killed himself. You know, all the times they go to the hospital. They just did a recent video uh, just like a week ago, not even, of her going to the emergency room again. So really, you're going to spend more time with the kids? Well, then prove it. Because your videos of you going to the hospital every two days proves that you don't watch your kids. So... Liar. How can you say you're spending quality time with kids when you're Disney with a camera on your face the whole time? Running. And remember when friggin' Sunkiss butt crack had to run 20 minutes to go find one of her kids she left 20 minutes away from her? You remember that? We're on to you guys. Liar pants. Inspire others to do what? Get lost. Six figure income. Now I know that Jess Fan makes a good bunch of money, but Sunkiss Mama? No. There's no way she makes more than 35000 maybe even less. I don't think she does a lot of ad reads and stuff like that. She absolutely does not make six figures. That's a lie. Retire our husbands. Is that a flex? Your husbands are lazy a-holes who don't do anything. What do you mean retire your husbands? What's that supposed to mean? What? There's more. Oh, flexible hours. Okay, flexible hours, travel opportunities, meet any people. Is this, a, is this an MLM ad? <laughs> What's going on here? Am I being recruited into Monade or something? What's going on here? This is exactly what MLM say. Meet unique people. Are you saying that people who aren't on YouTube can't meet unique people? What? And who are these unique people you talk about? Sunkissed stalker? Are you serious? More time with the kids is a lie. Inspire others to do what? Because your content's garbage. I don't know what you inspire others to do. But when we get into the freaking 
to the to the T today, you'll see the inspiration. Six figure income. Retire our husbands. Unbelievable. Flexible hours, travel opportunities. <laughs> Just sign up today for a low price of $5,000 and your dignity. I love how, I honestly love how they think that that's like a flex or a clap back to these people, right? You're like, get a job. Yeah, well, let us show you what it means to be us. Okay. It's going to be hilarious to watch your kids sue your ass when you get older. That's going to be funny. I haven't even really gone through all these yet, but there's so many. Okay, so... Um, I guess we're going to start with one. So none of these are really in order. There's a couple, but basically there's this group that she's on and I got to find out the name of the group for you here. Give me a second. Okay. So this is where it all kind of starts. There's a, this is the first one that opens up. It says from Jessica Scube and this is 2016 It's California. So this is a lot of this is Jessica going on this Facebook group or whatever it's called to like go after Drake and how much she hates Drake. If you guys know anything about Drake, I don't really either. I know that's baby daddy number two. Uh, he cheated on her. She cheated on him. And just basically, I think she divorced him, married him again, got more kids and then divorced him again or caught him cheating. I don't know the whole story. Uh, they're both gross is what I'm going to tell you. So Jessica Suba says, this effer handed me my effing son with a beer in his hand. There were bottles everywhere. Everyone was drinking and he openly admits in a text. It clearly states in our court order that neither party can have alcohol present or around the children. Is that so? Really? I know this is 2016. He had them only a few damn hours and he can't even be sober when he has them. God D, I just want to cry. I hate him so much. He begged me to pick them up early and they're just sitting outside with a bunch of friends drinking. She calls him sperm donor and she leaks the texts. So she's putting all this on the internet for everybody to see, by the way. So she calls him sperm donor text messaging. <laughs> you stay classy, Jess Flam. First off, we're at a barbecue for my friends. Gender reveal and there were no teenagers drinking. Everyone drinking was 21 and I can have a couple beers if I want. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not an alcoholic or drug addict. Nothing wrong with a couple beers. And I do have the best interest in mind when they, they are well taken care of. You've picked up 30 minutes early. Get over yourself. Just don't be walking in places thinking you own shit. Next time, call me and I will bring them to you. But no one wants to see you. Anyway, you have a good night. This is, again, don't forget Jess Fam said, I don't like confrontation. She hates confrontation. Jess Fam. But that's interesting that she said something like the, um, he's not supposed to be drinking. I thought that's quite interesting because she drinks all the time in front of her kids. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's an old rule. I don't know. Another text message she leaked says, uh, they just get into petty arguments. This stuff's garbage. Maybe if you pay child support, like you're supposed to, we could afford to shop at gap every day. Jess fam, you've been on the internet for 10 years by 2016. You were making good money on here. So what is she talking about? And I'm not saying he shouldn't pay. He should. He's a deadbeat douchebag. Um, but that's what we need to do. Be able to afford everything they could possibly need and want in life. So talk shit all you want. But at the end of the day, I'm mom. I'm the one who provides love, food, and a place to sleep. And you're just Drake, the distant babysitter who sees them a couple times a year when it conveniences you. So I'll be more than happy kissing those boys goodnight every night for the rest of their lives and shop at thrift stores. Okay, Jess, you make millions of dollars. I don't know what she's talking about here. Anyway, let's get into this one. This one is hilarious. I post this on the Facebook group. So this is, uh, oh, it's called, oh, so this, the Facebook called page is called MILFs of Minis. I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't know what that means, but this is her. So I posted the family friendly ones on my page and I'm just going to leave these here. Bah ha ha. This is Jess fam in all her glory. The mother vlogger, the mom of the year. Raise your hand if you're a mom in this room and you do this shit. No judgment. Just saying. Most of us don't do shit. Like, she's come after Drake for having a couple beers at a barbecue, and this is Jess Fam at her birthday. Or, or this is not her birthday. This is her bachelorette party. Isn't that classy, everybody? Just class. Pure, unadulterated class. So she talks about her custody problems all the time. This is 2014. I know a bunch of our custody problems come up in this group, so I wanted to update some of you on the custody shit I've been going through recently, in case it helps any of you guys. Oh, thanks for bringing awareness to custody. I was awarded full physical custody due to default from my divorce back in January. Well, a couple weeks ago, Drake served me papers to try to get more custody of the boys. We all, we all always talk about the, how heartless the court system is in here. Okay. And our mediation date is tomorrow morning. So I'll update you guys on how heartless they really are. He's seen Landon three times in his entire life and only shows up 32% of time of our agreed time with the twins. What? How is that? He's seeing the, all three kids are his. And that's quite a percentage that you've, does she take a calculator out and got the 32? Weird. If you're average at the time, he's actually spent with the twins, not even Landon. He has 2% custody right now. 
practically nothing. He's asking for every other weekend and twice during the week. And even though he sees them maybe four days out of the month on a good month. What? She just said he's only seen Landon twice. I don't understand what's going on here. I don't. This is just for him just being just a. It's just being chachi. Then she says this. This is April 16, 2015. A year later. A year and a bit later. This is about Chris's baby mom. Baby mama drama. I cannot effing understand mothers keeping their kids from perfectly fit father. There's some stuff going on around about Chris, by the way. He's not your perfectly fit father like she's saying. There's some stuff. Like, everybody has stuff. Others have other stuff. Others have worse stuff than others, though, if you know what I'm saying. I just don't effing understand it. Why does Chris's ex-wife have to be such a bitch? Does anyone know what the consequences are for keeping children from other parent on their court-ordered time? Like, physically just leaving town to make sure he can't get them, even though it's his court-ordered time? And I, I wish I could read those comments right there. I'm not going to lie. This is awesome. This is where, I don't know what this group is, but there's somebody, there's a ninja leaker. And this is, I think she started realizing it. Just to clarify, those of you in this group need to understand that everyone in here trusts one another. Like, whatever is supposed to hear like needs to stay like in here like. Telling your like husband, that's one thing like. But don't go around like screenshotting or like taking any posts in this group like people who are not members like. This needs to be a place where like where we can all feel comfortable and vent. You mean gossip? Okay. As needed, without worrying about who finds out what. She, I, I know that Jess fam comes off after those um, those gossip threads that come after her, but she has her own. <laughs> a lot of us just have a shitty or downright crazy baby daddies. Posting on our actual like Facebook page just like isn't an option like due to certain like family members like. This started out as an advice page and it slowly turns itself to a safe space for us mamas. Let's all remember. <laughs> safe space. Holy cow. I'm just going one after the other here. This one says, LOL blocked again. Now that she's back with Drake. Oh, uh, what happened, hun? You don't have any use for me anymore now that you've had tiny dick Rick back. Two-faced, see you next Tuesday. Jess, that's not very nice to say that to somebody. So this is Drake's girlfriend, Natalie Brown, uh, and blocked her because they got back together. I don't know. I think this might be the girl that Jake treated, cheated with. I don't know. I don't even know. I'm just reading these shits because it's funny. All right, Jessica Scube, May 5th, 2016. So tonight was the last night Drake could have shown up for his visitation before court. Since he was served papers a few weeks ago, he hasn't come to one visit. Not that it surprises me, but I thought this would be one time he'd show to try to make up for every time he didn't. And he didn't serve me any response papers. Can't wait for Monday. It'll be a fun one. Holy shit, Jess. Why are you telling the entire internet about your whole life? You're a public figure. Do you not think this shit was going to come out eventually? All right. This one came May. I'm livid. Uh-oh, Jess, who doesn't like confrontation, is about to get confrontational. Like, Chris just went to court, like, this morning because, like, his ex-wife doesn't want me posting pictures of the kids. Ding, 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 ding. Which he has primary custody of at the moment. Oh, he has primary custody? That doesn't... This is old. Why did he lose primary custody? Because she, he doesn't have primary custody anymore. Interesting. On my IG or YouTube. Well, the judge heard what she had to say and shut him down. Wow. It's now in their order that no significant other of either the mother or the father can post pictures or video of Caden and Tommy on any form of social media. What? Really? What the actual F? Those are going to be my stepson. So this is before they were married. This isn't some petty little girlfriend-boyfriend relationship. How can a stranger legally post a picture of anybody they want to as long as they're public, yet someone who actually in their life cannot? We're going to hire a lawyer and take their... Whoa! Whoa! Jess, are you serious right now? She's literally going to sue the mother of these two kids that she calls her own to be able to put them on the internet to make money off them. How is, can a stranger legally post a picture of anybody they want, yet someone who actually life cannot? Because it's exploitation. Holy shit, that one was really, really revealing. I wonder how that went. That was about six and a bit years ago. I wonder how that went because those boys are on the page. They must have sued her and they must have won. But a judge says, nope, you can't. So there is hope. That's awesome. All right, let's get this one. So as most of you guys know, Natalie and I have been keeping in contact. Well, she's going through the psycho X stage right now. We've all been there. And can I just say it's effing hilarious. Drake has finally met his karma. That's for sure. Uh, let me just say something to you, Jess. No, not everybody goes through psycho X st stages. We don't all have three or four baby daddies, and baby mamas and all that shit going on. We're not all like this. We don't all have crazy exes. Some people can break up with people and have a perfectly normal relationship. Unlike you, weirdo. So this is Natalie. I don't know who Natalie is. This bitch is there. I'm going to break his window with an effing rock. This bitch is getting sugar in her gas tank. And then Jess says, no way. LMFAO. You go, girl. Rooting for you. Rooting for you to break the law. Okay. 
Carrie Underwood intensifies. I'll tell you the outcome. Her car is locked. I came home to get supplies. What? Is this shit for real? Her car is... So you went to her car, found out it's locked, came home to get supplies and feed baby. This is one of Jess Fan's friends who has a baby she needs to feed, but is out going to try to break into someone's car and put sugar in their gas tank. Wow. Your friends are nice. You're effing awesome. Let me know how it goes. Chris said to wear gloves. What? Are you serious? Chris is telling her how to break the law and how to get away with it. Oh my gosh. You guys are, you guys seeing this? I'm reading online how to ruin a car. I'm going to put bleach in gas tank and flour, sugar, and dry beans. Ha ha ha. Oh my God, I'm dead. I admire the amount of balls you have. Jess fam is telling this person to go break the law. Chris is saying, wear gloves. Uh, you know this on the internet, Jess fam, right? What? Holy shit, this girl's toxic. All right, here's another one. God, there's so, so many guys. There's so many. So Drake's been slowly taking the twins a little bit more than he used to with pressure from his girlfriend. And just recently, Kyson started telling me, daddy scares me and daddy hit me. So Drake's hitting your children? Drake, you're a D-bag. It's gotten to the point where he doesn't want to go with him. I've already filed to change our custody order because he still flakes most of the time. Our court date is in April. But is there anything I could do about this? I, I can't let Kyson stay even if he doesn't want to go because he has court-ordered visitation. I just feel so helpless. I know Drake is emotionally abusive, always has been. Okay, it doesn't sound like you're not abusive at all either, Jess. And now to think he might be physically abusing too, yeah. If Who, why is she asking? Go call a lawyer. You have money, Jess. Go get a lawyer. Clearly, if this guy's abusing your kids, you don't send them there. Are you crazy? Drake's a douche. Show starts her sentence with, so like, um, what's a fam? So like, I'm having total judgment mom moment. Oh, are you? That's surprising. And I try really hard not to have these. <laughs> but we're at, the de we're at the dentist place this morning in the waiting room, and this little boy, probably about five, is playing with Ilya. And he keeps con continuously saying, gee, damn it. And he's calling someone in this game playing a dick. Look, I know I'm not perfect. My kids have dropped a few bombs. That's all you have to say right there. Then you can't judge them because your kids do the same thing. But this kid has literally said God at least five times in the last 10 minutes. And what's worse is mom doesn't even seem to slightly phase by it. Okay, Jess, you are not a good judge of character for parents. So please don't judge others. Thanks. Next. Karma's a bitch. Guess you just broke up. I don't know. Probably Drake and the girl he cheated on you with. That's what I'm assuming. So... Like, mm, my lawyer just called me this afternoon and like Drake's is avoiding service. Can't really be that surprised, I guess. Just annoying because it puts our court date even longer. But in the end, it will just bite him in the butt. So whatever. I'll just let him make his own bed to lay in. Okay. Why are you interrupting your enemy when they're making mistakes? Because you're not. You just can't help yourself, Jess. You're terrible at this. I think this is in response to her posting the text of the, her friend going to go ruin someone's car and Chris saying, wear gloves so you don't get caught. And Jess saying, yeah, you go, girl. Yas queen her all the way into prison. Oh my gosh, she's got some balls. I wouldn't, I would, I could never do that. These people are smart. She's just sitting out watching. Keep at least the first text that way. If he tries to blame me for it, I want him to see how it goes. No, they're definitely not back together. She tends to stalk him though. She's straight up psycho. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you're not keeping track of them either there, stalker Jess fam. Holy, Jess fam's crazy, man. This is so revealing. I wonder if she could do a video as she does it. I need someone else's drama in my life. Well, that's nice. LMA, not unless she's trying to get herself arrested. Damn, worth a shot. Oh my god, I remember my crazy ex stages, but definitely not this bad. Does this person, if she actually did that to this guy's car, does he know that there exists proof that she was going to do it? If that's the case. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Again, look at all these people saying the same thing in here. Oh my god, I remember my crazy ex stages. Am I the only, maybe I'm the only person who doesn't have a crazy ex. Am I the only one? No, I can't be the only one. And then Crystalline, this person says, oh, I can't believe she would send you those things. And then she's like, right? I wouldn't have had any, I wouldn't have any text proof of that shit. So you're saying you'd do it. You just wouldn't tell anybody. That's nice. Now the question, is it Stephanie? And then Jess writes, she's literally crazy, like psychotic. She already tried beating the S out of him and grabbing his balls in the middle of it. No, it's the one she caught him in bed with. I think her name is Rachel or something. Ouch. Doesn't she have crazy man arms? Oh my gosh. This stuff. <laughs> I feel dirty reading this. Who's watching her kid while she's doing all these crazy things? It's just plain nuts. Did she run out of crazy pills? Oh, these people. Ask her if she's seen the video of how to break a window with just your fingers. Holy crap. These people are crazy. This group is nuts. 
don't date or marry any of the women in this group. I'll send her that. I'll send that shit to her saying, I'll send her the way to break into a window. I seen Drake today. If you say, if I seen something, stop saying I seen. Okay. I seen it. It's not I seen. You can say I saw it. I saw it. Please. I seen Drake today. He came in a Krispy Kreme for free donut day. <laughs> Can't see how you can be all giggly smiley like, bitch, don't you have kids you could be brought to get a free donut? <laughs> Wait, there's free donut day at Krispy Kreme? What day is that? Watch Fireman Finger Mini Myth. Okay. Sierra, I think Sierra asked, did she do any of this? And then Jess said, yes, she called me at like midnight last night and told me she put flour, sugar, and rocks in the girl's gas tank and threw rocks at his window because she couldn't hear, because she could hear them having sex. Okay, so Jessica, you just literally outed this girl for breaking law, which is fine. And I hope one of those people in your, th this girl is reading this because now you, I hope she gets charged for that. Holy moly. Jessica literally encouraged this girl to go break the law. Chris told her to wear gloves, told her how to do this. And the girl actually went and did the thing because it was against Drake. That is, that is vicious. Just fam is vicious. Damn, she got that close. How could she hear them having sex? I thought the apartment was upstairs. How long does that stuff take to mess up the car? I have no idea. And I guess she creeped around to the back of the apartment and her window was cracked. Bitch is cray. Oh my God, why is she telling you this? Well, I can tell it's a good thing you didn't have problems with her. No kidding, Jess says. Drake sounds like a super winner. Winner. Okay, I can't read this thread. It just goes forever. So, my best friend is planning a bachelorette party for me. We're going to have a pleasure party and just hang out and drink. LMFAO. So good. You're so classy. I thought it would be a nice chance to get all of us mommies together without kids and hang out. You're all invited. So if you want, if you want to go, let me know and I'll add you to the event. It'll be sometime in the beginning of August. And we all know how that went. <laughs> These classy broads. So classy. Your husbands must be so proud of you. Uh, sorry, guys. I know that's just me and my church coming out. This kid won't sleep at night. I'm going crazy. If he's not attached to the boob, he wakes up. It's one thing to co-sleep, but it's another to have the leech on you all night long. He's a leech now. Your kids are leeches. That's great. I'm literally up no less than 20 times a night. He starts out in his crib and comes to my bed without about midnight. I know it's not, I know it's normal and blah, blah, but I'm losing it. Any advice? Jess, here's some advice. Stop having kids. You suck at it. Here's another um, update on the Drake fiasco. All right. So here it is. Our last court order was th that Drake had every Wednesday, first and third, and fifth weekends for a total of about 98 hours a month. Now it's been reduced to only every other Sunday. No overnights ever, about 16 hours a month. Woo, so happy it's over. If he doesn't follow these, hopefully when you go back to court in the future, you get to one day a month like you hope for. I now have sole physical custody too, before it was shared. Thank God. Probably she's right about this thank God thing, because Drake sounds like a complete dick bag. So I think Natalie Brown is Jess fam here. So long story short, my baby's father and I broke up. Our daughter is a month old. A few days later, I find a girl in our bed. I, bro I broke up our daughter. My baby's father and I broke up, broke up with two Ps. Our daughter is a month old. A few days later. So this is after you broke up. So he didn't cheat on you. I found a girl in our bed, but you broke up. I punched him right in the face over and over. I left. Cops are called. And he said he made a domestic violence restarting order again. Restarting. Restarting. Restraining order? This, holy shit. So basically he filed a restraining order against Jess fam. They took pictures of his face. He did not hit back. He can file a restraining order against me through the police report. You abuse, you punched him in the face. What? Will he have rights to our one month old? Holy cow. All she cares. I mean, I guess that's all she cares. Well, it makes sense, but damn girl. All right. What's this one? Today is a great day. Over $2,000 was deposited into my bank account. Because child support put a bank levy on Drake's bank account and took everything he has to his name. My lawyer finally got a court date set for contempt and 20 counts of non-payment of child support, which means he's facing jail time. Holy shit. Oh, and I got Landon to actually nap today. Justice has been served. Okay. Weirdo. Wow. This is crazy detailed. Drake's supposed to see the boys today for his bi-monthly one-hour visit, and Chris has been having some one-on-one -on -one time with Landon. Today, since it was his day off, and I told him I got to bring him to Drake, and he's breaking my heart. I'm so lucky my boys have a, such a good, real dad in their life. I wish Drake would just sign his rights over. Well, he's not going to. Well, maybe he will now. So this is Jess writing to Chris. I need Landon. No. Well, LOL, why? Because. Because why? He's mine, and we're at the park. Oh, baby, like. He doesn't want him anyway. 
That's what he says. What park are you at? New one in Union. Okay, I'll swing by and get him on my way that way. No. LOL, baby. Charge your phone, Jess fam. Effing hiding him is what Chris says. Well, let's just try. Let's just try. And if he cries, we'll keep him. Oh, uh, catch me if you can. I love you. I drive faster than you. Good luck. F word. You can see that word there. Okay. I'm not sure he's calling Jess fam the F word or the baby daddy, the F word. I don't know. Interesting. I effing hate being pregnant. It's November yet. Okay. Jess fam, whatever you make all your money being pregnant. Stop. Chill. I had my hand over memo things cracking up and we talk. We've hung it a few times. I feel like it's keep your friends close and enemies closer situation. You're definitely the bigger person because obviously the only way the boys will have a relationship with their sister is if through Natalie. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Couple of tidbits of info in there. We've never heard. Jess fam is really, really, really not nice. And I, and Drake is completely the, the biggest douchebag in the world. But doesn't Jess fam know how to pick him? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Jess fam. Chill. You, those, I know Drake is a dick for sure. And it sounds like he's a complete and utter jack wagon. You got to follow the rules of the court, which generally benefit the mom anyway, all the time. So this, in this case, I don't know why. Maybe they saw your channel. And we're like, ah, oh, shit, this lady's bad. But these are still his kids. They're going to still grow up that and take it from a kid who grew up without a father. You know, he has an opportunity to change and maybe he will. I doubt it because he's a dinkle, but he might. And he's still there. Okay. So take it from a kid who didn't have a dad at all. Keep, try to, try not to, you know, slander him so much in front of them. They hear that shit and they're going to mirror that behavior because you will, you will impress that on them and they will remember that. And it's just showing how immature and gross you are. So also, damn, the break in the law thing, Jess, you got some explaining to do. Oops. You did it again. You're dumb as a rock. Okay. Anyway, take a deep breath. Ew, that kind of tease, like, I don't do that very often, but if you're looking into Jessica's life a little bit and it's like, oh yeah, it, it just reiterates how you think she is and you're like, I was right. I was right. And so are you. And you're beautiful. Gorgeous. Like, hey, nice hair. I hope you have an amazing day and I hope you never forget how valuable you really are and that people need you in their lives. Don't forget it. I'll see you tomorrow.